Yeah, well, and I saw something really special with you and, you know, Michon and, um, and so I, you know, yeah, and I just wanted to be there for you. And if you wanted to um, travel, I wanted to make sure that happened for you. If you wanted to go on stage, like ATB, I want to make sure that happened for you. <laughs> I wanted to, you know, play a role and, uh, and help you achieve whatever you wanted to achieve. And, uh, and I don't have this fear of... Uh, you being better than me or, you know, my apprentice might grow up and get more followers than me or you might get asked to speak at more conferences than me. I never had those fears. It's the last thing. I it, think that's what it takes yeah. like, to be a good mentor. I think that... Yeah, the, you can't have those yeah. fears because if you have those fears as a mentor, then you're going to place your fears, right? Right on your apprentice and you're going to put boundaries and restrictions because right. you have those fears. And I never, ever, ever had those fears with you girls. And I, I just don't, I just, I, maybe that's just the way I'm made. I don't know. Did you ever feel I had those fears no. with you? Mm-mm. Yeah. I, I was like, you still, I, I think I just said before we started this, it was, we were just talking in the back. And I think I said, <laughs> like, you're still continuing to push me outside my comfort zone. Like, even with stuff like this, yeah. it's like you're still pushing me along. And I'm like, <laughs> really, you should be like, what the F, Amber? Like, you're not here anymore. Like, I don't care. Get out of here. <laughs> but no, you're still you're still doing that. So, well, because you're just getting you're just getting cranked up, girl. I mean, you're six years into this. You got a there, there's a lot left in you. You know, there's a whole lot more left in you than there is left in me. I mean, you know, I've been in this, you know, going on 21 years. So um, at some point, my career will start to slow down a little bit. And I think you're just, you're just at that sweet spot. And, uh, and I always want to be here for you. You know, I know PMU. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, you know, it's just in my blood, you yeah. know, it's just beautiful, sacred craft. And I, I love it. I love all aspects of it. And uh, yeah, I, I just feel, I just, and I love you. I think you're a good girl. And I know... Um, you know, you would never hurt me or, or Kat or Marshawn or you're just a good girl. You're a human, a good human being. And we, we love you I dearly. Appreciate it. Yeah. I, I try. <laughs> we all try. Yeah. We all have days we falter and we're right. not perfect. <laughs> I'm human. mad today. We're Leave not me alone. <laughs> yeah. Cause you're moody. Yeah. <laughs> Are you not moody? Yeah. And you're I'm moody. sensitive and, and I cry. Sensitive. <laughs> I think probably the worst thing with you is not I can deal with your moods. <laughs> <laughs> but the worst thing I think about you, or not the worst thing, like for me per se, but for your own self, mm-hmm. that's torturous to your own self, and um, is you will get something in your head negative, and then you you make it real. Yeah, even though it's not real. Well, definitely. Like even with like the conversation before I had the current you and I had, you know, I was like, oh, I'm leaving. Okay, it didn't happen like that. But you know what I mean. Like before yeah. that conversation even happened, it, I had turned it into this whole nother thing. Yeah. Like I just couldn't, I like by the time of what I had done to it in my own head, I like literally, I'm like, I don't even know how I even had this conversation at that point. Cause <laughs> I had turned it into something else that I didn't th- when it wasn't even like that. Yeah. So, well, I think I'm not going to go too deep into, uh, uh, what I'm about to say, but I had a bad experience with my own mentor when I was ready to spread my wings and go explore and do some things with other people, um, you know, that wasn't received very well. And, it, you know, and that's all I'll say about that. Um, and and it, it hurt me deeply. And so, and I had to deal with that. And you and I, I have talked in great lengths and in depth about yeah. that situation and what it did to me, yeah. you know, how it broke my heart. And, um, and I promised you and Michonne, mm-hmm. I would never, ever do that to you, no matter what Mm -hmm. right i knew that deep down somewhere in there (laughs) yeah if you decide to go open up your own place i will be there for you and i will support you and i will love you just as much and it's not a portrayal you know and some and you know let's just go back uh to what you said before about um you know other apprentices or artists leaving their their mentors and we've all seen that not go down very well on social media you know the mentor you know sometimes will go after the artist and blame them for this and that. And it's a betrayal. And then they don't want them teaching their techniques and their new, blah, blah, blah. blah. Right. It can be messy. You know, mm-hmm. I've seen it, you know, uh, countless times. And, um, 
And I'm, I'm just so grateful we didn't have to deal with that, man, <laughs> at all. At all. And I had a few people reach out to me. Am I okay? You know, what about her trainee? You know, right. I, I had that, you know. And I say, and, and, and ex- I told them exactly what I told you that day. You earned your right to train your students, your one-on-ones, everything I freaking taught you. You earned that. I'll never do a big class about you anyways. So well, we'll do, no, but you do your privates one on one. Just one on one. That's it. Yeah, and I think that's what some people think. Well, you taught her everything, and now she's leaving, yeah. and she's teaching all your techniques. And well, okay, but if you're gonna take on artists, you gotta think about that stuff. How? Right. And I, you and I had that conversation. Mm-hmm. You're in your own studio now. What if you take on an apprentice? You're going to have to think about all that stuff, Amber. You know, are you the type of person that if you spent, you know, a few years teaching them and then they decide to leave right. and open up their own place, how are you going to internalize that? How are you going to feel about that? Are you going to feel it's a betrayal? Are you going to... And like, well, I had the best example, so right. I have no other option. <laughs> That's right, right? And you lead, and you do, you lead by example. Right. And... Um, and and I, I do think you had a great experience here with yeah. me and Kat and, and transitioning out in your own studio. And so I'm confident when you have your own apprentices, um, you will also extend that gracefulness Absolutely. and generosity to yeah. your artists, right? Because mm-hmm. that's what it's all about. You can't own someone. Right. You know, you just can't. Um, you just can't do that. So, yeah. So... Yeah, I mean that wasn't that bad. You didn't ball. I don't. You didn't ruin your mascara. Oh, you didn't cry. I got those knee <laughs> lashes on right now today. Uh-huh.